Now the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 8. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever. <clears throat> you know, this world is changing. Technology is changing and advancing and people are changing. There's no doubt people are changing in this world today. But God and his word never changes. You see, God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, and forever. And that old hymn says it best. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. You know, if we've accepted Jesus as our Lord and our Savior, he will help us endure these trials we have in this life. That's what people need to hear. You know, through all the changes and the uncertainty of life, God is the rock that never wavers. People come, people go. One season turns into the next. Change is normal in our life, but that's not the case with God. Hebrews 13, 8, like you said earlier, it says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God has power over all things. There's no person, place, or thing in all creation that's outside of the Lord's presence. Amen. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You know, when Jesus died on the cross and three days later he rose from the grave, he bridged the gap between God and man. Jesus was that bridge. He bridged the gap. That's right. And because he did that, we can go to him and ask God to forgive us of our sins and to be our Lord and Savior. And after that prayer, we can go to him and ask him for anything. We can ask him to help us and to guide every step we take in this life. Absolutely. No doubt about it. You're right on the money. <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 10, starting with verse 19. And so, dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. By his death, Jesus opened a new and life-giving way through the curtain into the most holy place. Let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting him for our guilty conscience have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean. Our bodies have been washed with pure water. So through the blood of Jesus, the curtain between God and man has been removed. We have access to God. You can enter into the presence of God and you can come with confidence. You don't have to be ashamed and you don't have to tiptoe. You ever heard somebody beat around the bush 
They're afraid to get to the point and the problem. Well, we never have to do that with the Lord because God knows our issues and he's dealt with our problems. God is waiting for you. He's waiting for you to draw near to him. God is calling sinners to come to him. That's you. That's me. That's every one of us. Amen. That's 100% truth. And this is truth. And we'll see you on the next video.